During the procession to the funeral home, large groups of people showed their respect. Our Kareen Zell witnessed the support firsthand. Tell us what you saw, Kareen. Carol, I had goosebumps watching squad after squad pass by, and I know I wasn't alone. We were on the final route of the, the trail end of the procession route as it made its way to the funeral home. As the sky grew dark and those squad lights made such a statement, people traipsed through the snow to line the route in Brookfield, and they stayed late at work to peer through the windows and watch the squads pass by. We talked to one family who met in Brookfield tonight to pay their respects to Officer Rittner and his family, and also to their loved one, a McQuanago police officer who chose to drive his squad in the procession today on his day off. I think they have a very difficult job. Uh, I don't think that the public is fully aware of all the things that they have to go through on any given day and how much their, their uh, loved ones worry about them uh, coming home. I felt it was just important to support um, everybody in blue and it's, you know, my new family too. And so I feel um, it's important to come and show my support no matter how cold it is. We saw a lot of families stopping on their way home, bundled up to line the route. Tonight now I've seen a lot of squads leaving the funeral home likely making their way home, probably planning to hug their families a little tighter tonight. Live in Brookfield, Corrine Zell, today's TMJ4.